right, let's get this red coin challenge over with. Especially this one. Gosh, I hate cross this side for the. Yeah. So, crew members. Remember how I was searching. Let's see. I was searching everywhere for that red coin. I'll tell you what that red coin is. I jumped too early. It's right here. The red coin, I think, is. Oh, is it right there? I think it's right. Or is it right here? Yeah, it's right here. The red coin is right here. The red coin. The red coin is right here. Cause I forgot all about this place. Oh, anyway, yeah. this was red coin eight that I couldn't find. So let's just go ahead and. Get this world is probably. This world specifically, I think, is the largest world. Is it? I think so. Um. It actually has a lot of stuff to do here. There is a. You have to travel a long way. I mean, it's one mountain, and I can easily get from the top to the bottom just by falling. But going from true. the bottom to the top. That is that tiresome. Freaking, it's so hard, Drake wrote a song about it. Really? Yeah. Drake, that guy really does it. Tell me, you, tell me you get the joke I just made. I know it was a bad one, but... Why am I doing this? Do. Slow and steady. That's right, slow and steady. Slow and steady. How did that happen? Slide! I, I say slow and steady. Yeah, slide. And I still died. Anyway, um, the joke was started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now hit. Start from the bottom, now the whole way. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. I don't know what the song is. I don't know. I don't know Drake. I know. I like a couple of Drake songs. I didn't even know he exists until recently. Well, what do you mean? Defined recently. A few months ago. Okay, that's pretty recent. What? What? Why? I don't know. There's a lot of people I didn't know exist. Um, name me one person you don't know exist. Kesha. I always thought she and Katy Perry were the same people. <laughs> yeah, who else? How did that happen? I don't know. It kind of sound the same whenever I hear in the radio, so I thought it was kind of like, you know, the, uh, what'd you call it? Like JFK, alright? Like, you know, he has different personas for... <laughs> you thought Kesha? Well, I remember when, what do you call it, Gnarls Barkley was a thing? And Norris then, Barkley. Oh, Norris Barkley. Do you remember? I make you crazy. Yes, I do. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! no, no, no. Yes! Oh god! <laughs> that was awesome. Where, where my baby? <clears throat> Dude, that was so cool. I'm so glad you witnessed that. Cause that would have been sad to witness alone. That is another thing that you can do in this world specifically. Slide everywhere. Slide everywhere. Uh, Jump! Uh, no! No! Dang. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, let's try this one more time before I try my little stupid thing. Alright. So, CeeLo Green is actually the lead singer for Norris Barkley. I thought Norris Barkley was a person. Alright. Uh, Norris Barkley was just the name of the collective of him and some DJ producer, I think, was the okay. story. But, CeeLo Green and Norris Barkley, same voice is what I'm trying to get at. And the reason I said, jeez. I think you gotta grab on that. I can't grab on it, it's slidey. No, I mean, you know that gray patch? Oh, I see. I don't know if that's possible for me. Oh, that, no. Yeah, because I think that represents the ground. That's not going to happen. There's okay. no way I can make that happen. I believe you. Nice. Work. But, yeah, I thought Seal Green and Noah Barkley were two different people. Let's see if I can make this jump now. Yeah, I believe in yourself. Yes. Wait, ooh, blue points. No, I already know they don't give me that much, so... Oops, I want to win this style. We all want to win style. So when CeeLo Green had his huge hit, Forget You, yeah. on the radio, like, oh, dude, this sounds like Norris Barkley. Well, uh, that's because they're one of the same people. They're one okay. of the same voice. And I say that because you, you were probably thinking that Kesha and Katy Perry was a similar case. Yeah, because, wait, who's saying uh, you're hot and you're cold? Katy Perry. Alright, yeah, at that time I thought she was Kesha. And then, uh, what you call it, there's the... Uh, don't Stop? Don't Stop, Make It Pop. That is also, uh... Katy Perry or Kesha? You are absolutely wrong. I, I'm astonished on how little you know about my pop culture. What? Uh, wait, so who, who's saying uh, when you're hot and you're cold? Yes, Katy Perry! Huh. What about you? Don't stop making it bright. Pot. Are you ready to get scared? 
Yes. Dude, that was the scariest thing. That scene was. Back when I was a child. Of all the things that scared me as a child, and I think every world has something that scared me. That might have That might have been it. That might have been the scariest. And by that because that one's actually legitimately scary, because if you don't know that it's there. Oh nice. Yeah, then you're like Yeah, kinda. it really just it's one of those not a jump scare, but it really just oh my gosh. But this oh, one's yeah, a little it's coming for you. Like I knew that one was there, so that one didn't scare me. I think you gotta spin around the, the eyeball. I don't care about the eyeball right now. No, because I think that comes with the red coin. No, it gives me a blue coin. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a red coin in the other door, though. So, back to what I was saying. Who sings, like, uh. Oh, what you call it? Ah, oh, damn it. She apparently, uh. Shit, got damn. I'm trying. Oh, damn it. Oh. I didn't know. Oh. Wanna... I don't think there are any red With the down here. party of Don't Stop Making. That's Kesha! Uh, yeah, see? I always thought uh, that was Katy Perry. Like Katy Perry slash. You got them totally mixed up. Because the one I hear a lot, and I'm guilty of this one, I thought Jesse J and Kesha were the same person. Do you know who Jesse J is? Yes. How do you know who Jesse J is but not know that Katy Perry and Kesha are two? How do you know who Jesse J is and not know who Drake is? I don't know. I don't believe I thought uh, Drake was one of those things like, you know, it's a pop culture in TV. He was? He was from Degrassi, the TV show. You know Degrassi. Exactly, and I thought it was like, you know, kind of like how Dean Winchester is a character in Supernatural. He's, you know, oh, what you... Like, he's portrayed as, you know, not... What am I saying? Like, he's a character in a TV show. I thought that's what Drake was. Or like uh, Ross and Rachel, all right. Every TV show has heard of Ross and Rachel, but thing is, they are characters from a TV show. You know, I finally finished Friends. Yes, I have recently heard that. And now he knows the craziness that is Ross and Rachel. It's they were really, really crazy. Like they were crazier than Ted and Robin. And I know you know what Ted and Robin is. Oh yeah. Ross and Rachel were crazier than that. Damn. Like. In case, I don't care if you've seen it or not, but as you probably know, Ross and Rachel were Oh, see, I'll show you that. It's just a blue one. I'll take it. Huh, but okay. Ross and... Um, I'm sure you could assume that Ross and Rachel weren't together for all ten seasons. No, of course not. So when they finally got together, I thought it was the cutest thing. I'm like, dude, it's about time. And when they had that breakup, that breakup episode, it was one of the few times that Friends made me cry. Wow. Friend, well, I don't know if it made me cry cry, but I got teary and emotional during that one. Okay. How I Met Your Mother, I mean, I thought about it. I, I'm not sure if I believe this enough to put it on record that I like Friends more than I like How I Met Your Mother. but Or that Friends is a better sitcom than How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother was really clever on some of the stuff they did, the situations, how they tied in old episodes. Yeah. How one thing led to this and how it's nine seasons of How I Met Your Mother. That's creative. That's creativity right there. It is, but... That. And it had a little bit more emotional tugs. Oh, definitely. Like, I Ted mean, made you really think about life sometimes with some of his monologues. Uh, well, old, I'm thinking about older so, Ted more so than younger Ted, but... Well, of course, uh, younger Ted is more like... Uh, like, you know, I want that. Uh, then he sees the hot girl and runs after her. I want that now. So, in a way, he's kind of like Barney. It's just he's not willing to admit that. So now we are back in this horrible world. I hate this world. I hate this world too. I mean, you know how annoying this world is, people? Tell me how annoying this world is, people. Look at that. Those fires just jumping out of nowhere and even fall in that fire? You're dead? I don't like that. Before we move too far away from the topic, you should watch Friends. Oh, I should definitely watch Friends. But here's the thing. When I was telling people that I watched Friends, they would go, Ew, why? What? I, yeah, that? everyone I told. If you are, if you love a TV, you watch Friends. Friends was just one. I don't. I, I liked it. I liked it. It's what I'm trying to get at. Dude, everyone likes Friends. All right, it's like. Okay, I won't say it's that TV show. Like, uh, what you call it? It's not that TV show where you know you have to watch it. 
And you know, it's not like a I Love Lucy where it's like a historic TV show, but a comedy romance, yeah, Friends is the best example of a comedy romance in TV. And you're probably not gonna get that. Like, kind of like how Doctor Who is the that and Star Trek are like two of the biggest definite like you know, examples of sci-fi mm -hmm. TV shows. Friends is for comedy romance. I'm good call. I mean, I don't watch too many uh, sitcoms, drama, r romance, comedies. I don't watch as much as I should. But yes, Friends was a good watch. It took me four months to finish it. Well, you're normal. You're not the average Tumblr user who apparently watch like I think four episodes per day. Six months it took me almost half a year. Okay, half a year. That's you know that's normal. All right. When my uh, brother was getting into uh, How I Married Your Mother, it took him three months to get up to season six. All right, and this was, you know, when season six was a thing. Oh, okay, when season six was a new up season. Yeah. So, you know, that's normal, okay? Me, I'm not normal because Supernatural, it took me uh, three weeks to get up to season seven. And let me remind you people, Supernatural has what? Uh, it is 20, 22 episodes. 22 episodes, and each episode is like 45 minutes long. See, my sister is the same as you. That's, that's probably why I think it took me so long, and why I think I'm the odd man out taking half a year to finish this one show. My sister watched all of House, all of Leverage, all of, I, was it Dexter? Psych! It was all of Psych. Ooh, Psych. Good TV show. And I think two more shows before I finished my one show. Uh, well... Everyone is uh, different. All right. I mean, well, what was it? the captain? He is watching One Piece, and guess what? He hasn't even finished watching it. You should say that to his face. I did. I told him that, dude. Hurry up and watch it. And you know what he always tells me? What he always, dude? I don't always have the time. All right. I'm not like you. All right, captain. Oh, well, there it is. Almost dead. Oh, hey, Greg. Yeah. Coins. This is my Oops. Ooh, careful. This is the Bowser puzzle. I always like this though. Yeah, like, this even one... though this world uh, kind of like creeped me out, I like this the mission of the the red coins. Know, the this red was coins my favorite best. red coin. This is the only red coin I like. See how long that took me? It took me no more than half a second. Yeah, it's great. Well, not half a second. I mean, but yes, I understand what you're saying. Like, it's really easy to do. Yeah, I like it. Let's go into I hate this world too. Oh, I don't think a lot of people like as this As well, world. as you know, as you know, I hate this world. We had some That's right, I have to annoying. fly to get the red coins. This one's going to be even more annoying. Why don't you fall off? This, I'm going to get sucked in by the quicksand. Do you go to another world? Say it. Say it. Can't you have to? <sighs> no, I... What? I don't go into another world. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Oh, okay, okay, let's rewind. Let's rewind, okay, yeah. Yes, let's rewind, let's rewind. Yeah. Oh, there's a red coin right here. You gotta be, watch out for that sand right there. If you get us in a second, what happens? Um, I die. Alright. Alright, he dies. Ladies and gentlemen, he dies. <laughs> Dude, the joke is so dead now. I know. I don't know why we're trying to continue it. <laughs> so yes, anyway. So the red coins in this world, what's it like? Terrible. Of course it's like terrible. Like all red coins. terrible. I mean, the other one, the, what do you call it? Fudge, the, the, the lava world that we just finished. That was fast. Now, see, I like that one. Yeah, because it's fast and, you know, it's a puzzle. Who doesn't like a good puzzle? I don't know why I did this to be honest. But look at that. Like that? Oh, fudge. See, that's why. I'd... He's dead. I get kicked out of this world. So is that, is that what you mean by going to a new world? A whole new world? <laughs> there it is. There is the. F oh, whoops. I accidentally picked the wrong star. Oh, well, doesn't matter. What ends? 
But yes, a whole new world. Yes, that a was dazzling the, place. That, that was that gave. was the joke. A bad joke, but a joke nonetheless. But seriously, hey, I will say this: How does Bowser, you know, get all these worlds connected through paintings? He cursed it. Cursed it. Yeah. So how? I mean, how is Bowser able to do the curse? I mean, he's not a, a he's wizard. He's not a magician, a wizard. I mean, it's not it's no Voldemort, I will say that. And now He's what, the Dark Lord. The Dark we Lord already Chuckles? Yeah, we, we already established this. I, I forget if you're, you weren't present at the time, but do you remember you, the first, uh, oops, the first world that we had to beat Bowser in? Yes. It's called the Dark World. Or the underground, the underworld, or something like that. So, well, the underworld also refers to any shady place. Slim shady place. Slim shady. Dude, I still have my cap inside the. What do you call it, inside the water? Yeah. That's cool. I if the bird takes my hat now, is it gonna be the wing cap or is it gonna be uh, my cap? I think it's a wing cap. No. So he could fly, right? Yes. He could fly to greater distance. Dude, I don't know how long I get this red cap for, but... Yeah, I'm... no, I thought it would run out already. Yeah. Whatever, just fly. No, I'm just gonna go over here, because I saw a red, red cap over here. Because I need the candy. Yeah, over there. Uh... Oh, there it is. It's gone now. Okay. Ooh, yes. Careful? Okay. I know the pattern. It only took Does me an eternity amount of time to die. Oh, dude, do you think I can make it? I don't know, it's risky. Risk is my middle name. Yeah, and you die. Simply risk of Ooh, Kish. Simply and he did risk it. Kish. And then there should be a cannon over here somewhere. I think it's near there the it near the here. Oh yes, right here. Yeah, near the here. Here, it's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. Oh man, you're freaking hilarious. Well, of course not. All right, now fly, fly, fly and grab the coins and don't hit. Yes. Oh jeez. Oh, I'm not good with flying. I'm not good with swimming. Precision. For what? Precision. Come on, this is a little precision. Oh yeah. Well, I, I got it now that I calmed down. Yeah. Can I go higher? Am I slowly just gonna start going down from there? No, I think you can go higher. Just, you know. Uh, you can do it! You can do it! Come on! Come on, Mario! Oh, I go! missed it! Oh, I need to go back. Or you could just go on that. I'm about to. Let's see if I can get it from here. How's it that Mario could run on this wall? 90 degrees? Exactly. I mean, what is he? Spider? Spider Mario. Uh, Alright. Oh no! Okay, okay, oh shit! Oh, thank god. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, wait. At least we're all too close to comfort. Oh, that's, that's horrible. You are kidding me. Alright, I got it. Oh my god, oh, you missed. It's hard to control. You know, I'm just gonna fly over to the, uh, the cannon and redo it. Alright. Because I'll right. have a lot of velocity and many more chances. And since I'm gonna be plus, there's the. There's another red cap over there so I can reset my red cap. I always like those catchy music that comes with all the Mario games. Oh yeah, every Mario. I've not heard one Mario background song that I didn't like. like I, I, if I can, I would. No, no, I think I know one. What the one? Super Mario movie? Have you seen the Super Mario? Movie? Of course I have. Dude, everyone has seen it. It was a weird. <laughs> oh damn myself. But yeah, what was the Super Mario movie? It was a. It wasn't. How do I say? Where is it? Yes. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> I don't know. I just can't really describe that movie. It was definitely something else. It is not Mario worthy. It was weird because I guess Bowser was half dinosaur, half human. Yep. That's it how it is. Weird. And then what was Yoshi? What, what's more? Yoshi was scary. What's more normal? This human character being. Arch nemesis with a dinosaur turtle? That's more normal than Bowser being human? Yes. 
That was so much than normal. Okay, we are not talking Jurassic World. Okay, I believe you. Anyway, I just, I'm done with this Red Point Challenge. I know that we still have the Water Wolf to do. I'll do that during the next Red Point Challenge. I'm actually thinking about going back right now and completing some of the stars that I didn't complete earlier. For example, the you get to see me go to Bomb on Battlefield. Ooh, Bomb on Battlefield. But that won't be now. It will be later. And by later, I mean next episode. So All tune right. in, both of you. And I will. Signing off. Later. <laughs>